Well, I'm on the germinal stand with Richard Brown. Um, Richard, um, this is a bit of a, a banker for you, I think, in terms of a show to be at every year, BTME. Absolutely, yeah. This, suit, this time of year suits us, but it's always well attended and it's a great social event. So, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing customers all day long, right, right through till two in the morning, if they're still out and about. So, yeah, yeah. It's that kind of show, isn't exactly, it? I mean, exactly. it's, it's often yeah. said as a joke, but it yeah. is real. It, the networking it, side it of it is, is very, very different to anything else, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So you've got Climate Smart blazoned across the wall there. Um, yeah. Do you want to tell us a bit about that? Well, Climate Smart really is, is an ethos that Germal is embracing, not only in our overt products, such as our Climate Smart clovers, which are going to fix nitrogen and persist where other clovers don't, for the good of sort of landscape projects, etc., and maybe moving into the sports and golf arena in the future, who knows? But beyond that, Climate Smart is talking about everything we do as a company, and that might include the uh, solar panels we've got emblazoned across all of our sheds, and that's feeding you know energy back into the grid as well as supporting ourselves. Our general aim for net zero, but also on the golf front, you could say, well, what's Climate Smart about your offering? Well, by offering the very best brown top and creeping bents that help to outcompete Power Annua, which is your biggest grasp in terms of inputs, that in itself is a climate smart approach. So I think net zero and saving the planet, for want of a better word, can seem like a very daunting thing for us all to do. But what we're saying is there are very quick, easy, logical steps which you can take to make a difference. And we're there to support you on that journey. And it doesn't have to be an overt carbon saving Thing, it can be a general trend towards that and that's really what we're embracing as a company and how we're seeing things go forward. Lots and lots of little savings yeah, add up to, to big gains. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, you, know, you mentioned the clovers there, I think you first mentioned those to me a year or so ago. Yeah, um, yeah. How are things developing with that? Very good, certainly on the landscape side and that's where that's going to be initially but you know people are recognising they're going back to go forwards and they're recognising that clover fixes nitrogen. It's one of nature's little miracles, you know. It takes nitrogen out of the atmosphere and feeds the grass around it. And they're recognising that that's something you can use in a landscape setting to uh, reduce the amount of organic fertiliser you're using and to improve the soil in general. But going forward, we are getting interest from you know, golf and sort of sports arenas. Okay. And not so much arenas, but those facilities, again, looking for that sort of saving, maybe on the edges where people sit and, and view sports. Yeah. And golf, who knows, you know, I just wouldn't rule anything out going forward. We are all going to have to look at a climate smart approach to life and these types of grasses and well, these plants and uh, all these innovations could come in uh, useful over the next 15, 25 years and develop in that way. Uh, sorry, an analogy I've used is, you know, wind turbines. I don't know for sure, but I'm sure wind turbines are far more efficient now than they were 25 yeah. years ago. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know what clovers are going to look like in 25 years, but, you know, now we're putting effort into it. Who knows? And who knows what problems they're going to solve? And every one of them will be four leaf and lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah, there you go. So, yeah. <laughs> Richard, in terms of the, the general market, how are you finding things out there? Is it Stabilised? Yeah, it's, it's stabilised, uh, but, but buoyant. I think, you know, golf and sports is, is buoyant for us, and, uh, and, and the landscape sector is, is moving, moving on as well. So, yeah, we, we, we've, got, we've got no complaints, but I think there is... People will always want quality, that's the thing. So I think, you know, if, you, if we're pitching ourselves quality, problem-solving products, and so, you know, uh, we, we, we've got plenty of custom in that regard. And it seems to be a buoyant show and plenty of people here. Lots of people here, I've got no complaints. I think this is the busiest we've seen this show for a couple of years, so really good. Despite the you know, apocalyptic weather outside, so yeah, people have yeah. Made, it, made it here. So very Better good. to get you back to yeah. doing your day job. No yeah. worries, thank you. Thanks a lot, Richard. Cheers. Thank you.